So I went through the whole night uh, without any sleep, and I'm still here, and I don't know how I can stand up. Um, two years ago, I was introduced to a ceramics teacher who asked what I'd like to make, Sandy Cone. I took a look around the classroom, what we were in the classroom at the time, and saw six old ladies and one old man making teacups. That was not for me. So I jokingly said, Navy planes. After two years and three ceramic planes, one SNJ, two R5 to four Ds, I stopped. The SNJ is on display, actually it's here right now. Uh, my son Barry went to the trouble of bringing it up, taking it out of his office, and having you folks look at it. After two years and three ceramic planes, the SNJ, the two R4D transport planes, I stopped. The SNJ is on display in an office in downtown Atlanta, which is Barry's. One twin engine is in Los Angeles, and the other twin engine is on display in Israel. I wish to thank Charles Crotty. Where are you, Charles? Who made a, well, this is it, this is what he made, a beautiful custom glass housing for the SNJ, and Julian Scott, where are you? There, they are over there. Uh, who got me in touch with a gentleman who makes nameplates for famous golfers. I have a collection of wooden navy planes made in Manila, so I use them as models in my work. My art instructor, Sandy, was always a step ahead of me. It was amazing how much he knew about the manufacture of planes in America and the repair of them. When a wing with the engine fell off, a model R4D DC-3, she immediately repaired it. Six coats of paint were used on each plane, separated by time in a kiln. The most difficult job was making three bladed propellers for the R4Ds. It took one month to complete the propellers, four of them. I can remember it, it was a mess. <laughs> If you can imagine taking that long for propellers. I think I lost a page somewhere. No? Nope. Uh -huh. Okay. So two years was spent practicing patience, admiring the aptitude of the instructor, and learning ceramics. Sorry, folks, I gotta check this out. At the beginning, a chunk of ceramic material was given me. And I rolled it and kneaded the material until it approximated the model. It looked like a round, solid chunk of clay, which it was. The initial description of, of kneading, rolling, and elongating a hunk of inanimate earth isn't exciting because it wasn't. What on earth made me continue? Masochism, <laughs> curiosity, a silent pledge not to give up. I looked up the meaning of masochism, and the dictionary tell me, willful suffering. Yep, that hit the nail on the head. Did I look forward to next week's class? Not really. But curiosity overwhelmed me. It, it, couldn't get worse, or could it? I looked at the finished wooden model I, I brought to class and shook my head. And the only thing that prompted me to continue was it did not look like a saucer. <laughs> and the in, and the I can't read my own writing. And the instructor was telling me how well it was coming along. Uh, Week three, did I see the semblance of a plane? The front end looked maybe like plane. It had an engine, and the rear end looked like the rear end of a plane. Each week's progress prompted me to continue. The front end now looked like the engine, and the rear end looked, well, like a rear end. Each week brought the piece of clay 
closer to a plane, especially when the wings and tail section were made and massaged for task of a, or whatever, for lack of a suitable word, onto the initial hunk of clay. Soon it resembled the plane. More urgency to the job. The tail and wings were massaged <laughs> onto the structure, which was now ready for the first of six, believe it, coats of bright yellow paint. Each coat being put into a kiln, a real hot furnace, to bake the paint into the ceramic. This was repeated six times to the complete satisfaction of the instructor. Colored paint trim was applied, the windings and the motor and so forth, to which I had no temperature, temperament or steadiness to manage, and I let the instructor do it. I posted, I painted, I pasted the wheels onto the plane in the retracted position, which it is, and the instructor painted the blue canopy and navy onto the fuselage. Okay. Thank the good Lord for allowing me time. To complete the arrangement, and thanks for listening to me.